Hello, welcome to another episode of Pieces of Time. We, uh, you find me here this evening in my brand new place, um, on Boxing Day. I'm doing a video on Boxing Day for you. Just you. And the, the the video is going to be of this L'Oreal sub. This 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 particular watch I've had since like nearly last Christmas, since January last year, and um, love it, absolutely love it to bits. It's a little bit a little bit rattly, um, but let's get into it now. We'll do some measurements. We'll do some other bits and bobs, um, unboxing, etc. etc. Let's crack on. Okay, so let's get into this. What have we got here? Well, this arrived through my door yesterday. I've already opened it. Um, and I mean through the door. This was actually dropped through the letterbox. Um, I ordered two watches uh, in December. Two of the, two of the foreign ones. Um, from the Chinese specials, I, had, I ordered one from Gearbest and one from AliExpress. And this is the one that came from AliExpress. And I'm actually pretty impressed, really. Um, I've not seen many reviews on this watch. Um, but So that's why I bought one, because I've not seen many reviews. But what I'm impressed with, in a way... Was that it tells it tells the, the the delivery company that it is a mechanical watch. Now I paid fifty five English pounds for this, but it rates the total value at two dollars, um, which is odd. I, I'm I'm sure that's happened before. Um, delivered from Hong Kong and delivered in pretty good time, to be fair. Um, I think it took about. About well under two weeks it took, um, and this is how it arrived. There's the box inside, that's the seller I got it from, WYQ. Uh, I think there's another there's another guy online who's done um, uh, well, uh, uh, the same watch, but from uh, from the same seller as well. Um, and you get a tool to. It actually came with its own little tool to um, shorten the shorten the strap. I don't need that, obviously, because I prefer not to use these kind of tools because there's it, too much room for error. So that was that. That's how that came. Very nice. Um, and then it came in this bashed up box, which I was a bit unimpressed with the box to be uh, to be honest. But as I said, fifty five quid for what for what you're about to see isn't bad. Okay. So in the box we get this dodgy little. Uh, sort of, sort of um keyring type thing. I think this is supposed to be um, put around the the watch itself. Useless to me, really, but it's a nice little thing to have. Um, then you get the 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 a card from the actual shop, the company who do it, and it's got some Russian writing on there, which is maybe they sell a lot of Russian watches in Russia. Don't really know what it is. It's got a ruler on it, which might come in handy, actually. Um, so that was that. And then there was the L'Oreal uh, since 1996 certification. International guarantee card. And it is actually a plastic card. So I don't know what kind of guarantee you get. I'm assuming it doesn't, sp doesn't specify... A length of time that you get, or anything like that. Maybe it says it in Chinese down the bottom here. But there's certainly a number printed on it, so it looks pretty authentic. So there you go, that's that. And then we get to the actual main body of watch, which came in these kind of... Uh, do you like the way I've done that? Hey, hey, do you like the way I've done that? Um, so there we go. And here it is. It is a... A, like a, a subby homage, you'd, you'd probably call this, and it is the L'Oreal Automatic 
Superlative chronometer officially certified. So let's square this stuff upside and we'll have a proper look at this and we'll peel some stickers off. Nice little Loreo tag there with the model number Loreo since 1996. There. Not sure what that price is for. Maybe that's in yen. Maybe. Who knows? Or Turkish lira. And that's not what I paid anyway. Okay, so let's take some stickers off. This should be fun. Let's take some stickers off. We'll start with the strap. And then the final one. Ooh. And there it is. Very nice. Um, that's actually not the final one. There's actually a little sticker here. Which tells us, if you can see that, it tells us that we have Sapphire Crystal, which is nice. There we go. So we'll take that one off too. Quite a little pile of, little pile of that, isn't it? Okay, there we go. So what we got, we've got a very nice looking watch in the end. All right, here it is. Now, first things first, obviously you've seen the unboxing. Um, no AR coating on it. The dial, despite the fact that it looking, despite the fact that it looks um, blue in the outside light, looks very much purple under any kind of yellow, um, warm lighting, which most people's homes are warm light. Um, this is a very yellow light that I've got here, um, and as such is. Um, is making it look very purple okay so what we've got we've got um, nice positive action on the the bezel movement very nice a fair amount of play there's even up and down side to side etc movement obviously um Despite that particular failing, the rest just goes, just gets more and more positive, really. Um, you got a nice click on the uh, bezel. You've got the benefit of 200 meter water resistance, or so it says on the on the um, dial. As you can see there, advertised 200 meter water resistance. And this is where it kind of gets a little bit, for me, it gets a little bit copycat, a little bit less homage, more kind of a little bit fake. Superlative chronometer, officially certified. There's no way, well, this may have been officially certified by somebody in, somebody in the um, Seagull factory but not certainly not, or the L'Oreal factory, but certainly not anyone in Switzerland, not anyone who works for Rolex. Screw down crown, nice positive screw down. Um, nice positive screw down there, lovely, doesn't catch up, doesn't get hung up, you can feel it ticking uh, as, it, as you unwind. And as you unwind it, you un unscrew it, you can actually see it just pops out there. 
nice positive spring action on it. Two clicks. Two clicks to set the time. One to set the date function. Got slightly caught there. Uh, so two clicks to set the date function. Nice positive screw down crown. You've got the case back. Uh, the clear case back. You can just see the seagull movement in there. Lorior on the rotor. Very quiet. You can't hear it over the bracelets anyway. The bracelet's very loud. Yeah, it's not actually it's not the quietest, but it's certainly quieter than the sum. Um, for the price, you cannot complain at all. Okay, you can just see there sapphire water resistant, twenty ATMs, two hundred meters. It's got the number of the the watch case number. All stainless steel automatic. For some reason, we have a little picture of a shark on there. I'm not sure why. There's a little picture of a fish. Perhaps it's to suggest to you that it's a dive watch. But yeah, there you go. With the strap removed, you can see the you can see the details of the um, of the movement there extremely accurate movement i'll just pop up the um the uh watch check numbers here absolutely one of the best i've ever had actually for the money you cannot get away from it excellent we'll move on to the bracelet once we've got some measurements so that's zero We have 40 mil, classic numbers, classic numbers. 44 mil with the crown. We have the crown protectors either side. 20 mil, 20 mil bracelet. And... 47 mil lug tip to lug tip. There is some curve on them lugs, little tiny bit, but it, it wears so nicely. It's unbelievable. Uh, signed crown. L'Oreal automatic on the dial. Applied indices. No numbers. Just applied indices. With respectable loom. Again. You know, I'll keep going back to this because to me, it's important that we have this discussion in the sense that, you know, do you need to pay a, to pay big bucks for a decent watch? And the answer, I think, is no. Pretty decent loom. Does it needs? I've found that it needs a fair amount of light in order to attain that luminosity but it does in the end come up uh, already starting to fade there you can see that no loom pip on the on the bezel no loom pip on the bezel um what else we got the bracelet Piesta resistance. Now it's a little bit rattly, but that's mainly this um, pressed clasp, which is a little bit um, noisy. Even fastened, it's a bit noisy. The actual bracelet itself, um, this is the side without the bracelet on, is very quiet. And that's because it's a solid, solid stainless steel bracelet. 
brushed on the back, polished in the middle, and brushed outside links, side links, uh, polished on the sides. You can see I've worn this watch a lot. This is my own personal watch that I bought uh, that carried through onto the onto the end links, solid end links there, the brushing and the uh, polishing carried onto the end links, polished. On the face, uh, sorry, brushed on the face, polished on the sides, and then brushing, slight brushing on the back, even brushing on the back when you don't really need to do that. So there we have it. If you take into consideration with this watch, price, the quality, Timekeeping, um, what else is there? I mean, the the looks of it, it, it looks nice, it looks more expensive than it is. Not that that is a barometer for me, um, however, the quality looks to have cost more, is what, what people mean by that when they say that, it looks more expensive than it is, or doesn't look, it looks cheap cheaper than it is and that's because actually what the what they what they're getting at is the fact that the quality of the timepiece the quality of whatever it is you might want in life um should really always for me what i look for in in life is i want the quality of the product to exceed the price you should never have a situation where the price exceeds the quality and i think in genuine rolexes this is where for me the problem lies is that the price exceeds the quality the price is larger than what you are getting you are only getting a watch when you buy a rolex okay um i've never owned a rolex i've seen a couple um but i've never owned one um Seven, eight thousand pounds for the base model. Uh, that's great. I mean, there are some there are some models that are actually um, there are some models that uh, actually go up in price once you've bought them. So you buy them from Rolex, and you can immediately go out and sell them for a thousand pound more, etc. However. That's that's for the people who can afford it. What I will say is, if I could afford a Rolex, would I buy one? God damn yeah. God damn it. Of course I would. If I could afford a Rolex, I'd be straight down to the shop and I'd buy one from Rolex. Not off the black market, not off the grey market, not off the internet. From a shop that sells Rolex. A Rolex shop. Not used, not second hand. A Rolex. And a bloody good one at that, if I could afford it. So, for now. <laughs> for now. For the foreseeable. This is my Rolex. And, frankly, they've done a cracking job of it. Um, my favourite watch to wear. Um, as... An everyday, not in work watch. I don't want to make a mess of it. It is only a Chinese kind of watch. I don't think it would take too kindly to being bumped around. Although I don't know, it might be alright. Um, but yeah, as you can see, it's wearing well. And I've worn it a bloody heck of a lot, this thing. Um, you see by the by the dial, uh, by the bracelet there, you see scratches. You can see nicks. You can see the tiny little indents. But it is what it is, you wear a watch, you buy a watch to wear it, don't you? There it is, the L'Oreal Automatic. Let's forget the rest of what it says on there. Superlative chronometer, officially certified 200 meter submariner, Rolex submariner homage. And a, and a bloody good job they did of it too. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, feel free to comment, feel free to rate. Feel free to subscribe, and uh, at the very least, if you enjoyed the video, 
have a thumbs up if you got some use out of it it made you it made you make a mind up about whether to buy one of these from uh, aliexpress jump on it jump on the jump on the thumbs up button and give us a thumbs up thanks very much please do come again soon